YouTube, what's up? This is Sully. Got a very late review here, unboxing on a pair of shoes I picked up uh, uh, two weeks ago, I think so. So I was out of town, couldn't get to it. And so I thought I'd go ahead and do this real quick. See if I could do this. I really need to get a tripod. I just think that once you get a tripod and you start doing lights and shit like that, and you're getting serious about this stuff, not that I'm not, but it's just more of like, I realize sneaker reviews is just like show and tell, right? It's like, this is what I got more than anything else. I mean, I'm not here to get sponsors. I'm not here to buy shit from overseas and put a fancy name on it to kind of convince you guys that it's dope. Just to kind of do a show and tell. That's about it. Modern day digital show and tell. So let's check it out. So as you can see, this is a Jordan 12 box. And these are the Jordan Neoprenes, nylons, whatever the hell they're called. Some people love them. Some people don't like them. I thought they were perfect. The black and white concept, I dig. I thought it was a good idea. I don't know about you. Let me know in the comment section. But I thought that these were perfect timing. Considering the whole... Cyber Monday colorway, the waterproof idea. You know, I do a lot of work up on the eastern eastern side of the U.S., so sometimes winter time kind of sucks because I can't wear the shoes that I really want to wear because of the weather permitting. But with um, now that I'm getting acquainted with, and this is not a, another sponsor drop. This is just what I use. I started using this. So I'm going to do a review on a pair of Fear 4s that I wore on my last trip that I got rained on a few times, um, dropped some, spilled some food on them, and I think I even accidentally pissed on them a little bit by, you know, in my one of my nights of having maybe one or two more, too many beers. So I started using this on, the, that was the first shoe. I actually sprayed this on my kids, kids Jordans that I got them for first day of school. Those, I don't think I did a review on those, but those were the... Jordan 5 Metallics. So, so far, I think this stuff is pretty good, but I think it doesn't mean you could be irresponsible and, you know, jump in a swimming pool with them. But yeah, back to the nylons. These are super dope, super light. You know, are they worth 190? I guess it's hard to say once you've already pulled the trigger on them. But the embossed back here, the Jordan tag, I think is dope. I just think this is a clean, clean and simple shoe. I think this would look good with white laces too. I don't care much about this. Like, I know there's been some complaints that, oh, this should have been bareback leather. Doesn't matter. I mean, it's, it's on a fucking tennis shoe. It looks good. The texture looks nice. Um, the inside, I can't tell what the bottom is, but I do like the red, the red hit here. I think that's clean. So, in my opinion, this is a badass shoe. I think this looks great. I think it looks great. Uh, let me know what your, what your comments are. I think, uh, I think I'll probably try to play ball on these soon. But I just think that you can't go wrong with a black and white shoe with a little taste of red. Now, to complement this shoe, we'll do another pickup. And this is not a, uh... check this out. So I, I saw this, and actually I'll just lay this on the rug. Check that out. So I got this on my Facebook feed, because I'm a Patriots fan. And you know how they try to peddle you random shit? I, and I, I jumped all over this one. So it's a training day inspired theme, but it's got Gronk and it's got Tom Brady in there. I think that is cool as shit. I don't know, well, but I think the the black and white with these on, well, sorry, with these is a perfect mix. I think the, and khaki shorts, black shorts, camos, you name it. I think that's straight butter. So let me know what you guys think. If you're a Pats fan, of course, you have no interest in this. But if you are, uh, let me know, and I'll post a link in the description of where I got this shirt. But it's, uh, it looks, it's definitely quality. It's a quality shirt. This isn't something coming out of someone's garage. Let's take a look at the tag. Yeah, it's a Fruit of a Loom shirt. So if anything, the shirt will last the last time. I'm not sure about the screen printing, but I don't know. Training Day is one of my favorite movies, and the Pats are my favorite team, so I thought it makes sense. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did you guys pick up these nylon 12s, neoprene 12s? 
Um, let me know. Hope you guys thought this video was alright. If so, give me a thumbs up. If not, you can move on to the next guy, alright? Peace. Wear what you like. Forget the hype.